Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean. Okay, yeah. Should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What <laughs> makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. <laughs> you would stake your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again. I am far from Hulk. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tear is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. 
Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. But I will never, ever admit to Sindri. I think I like climbing.
Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? It was starting to Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! <laughs> I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. You think this stuff grows on trees? I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Oh! They ever quit? Yaffa! Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's uh, not the uh. same thing. Ah. Uh. 
Gaffa. Really? Now? You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. <sighs> what do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's a... An... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure. Now just hang to... on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there. I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? 
key. Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm -hmm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim, home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um. Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll see. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two?
Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in spirits and... until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole, activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up.
way. Feels like there was something else. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Definitely something more going on here. A gift of mine, a 
Can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Think about fate. I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Ah.
mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. That seems... is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty. The Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, and sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Rung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way.
Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Amir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. The 
ground looks weak down here, Father. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. the ground from up there? That's the key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. <laughs> What are you not saying? The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Svartalfheim. 